Welcome once again to this week's edition of The Code. And today, I'm not doing a musician. I'm not doing an actor. I'm doing one of the best presenters in the capital city and Ghana as a whole. Welcome to The Code, Sammy Barflex. I'm honored to be on The Code. I'm feeling good, man. We welcome you. <laughs> You're one of the biggest, let me say, if it was mm. football, you have been a Zlatan Ibrahimovic. <laughs> today you are here. The next moment you are here. <laughs> Where is Sami Barflex now? Oh, Sami Barflex is still in Accra, as a matter of fact. Um, we are still doing show business, that is what is very important. Now, Sami Flex is also known with Flex newspaper, even before radio and TV came in. So, Sami Flex is doing Flex newspaper at the moment, and Sami Flex is doing Atika TV at the moment. Very soon, I know those who are waiting for Sami Flex to be on radio, very soon you guys will hear my voice on radio. Very, very soon. So. Did you just start with Plus FM or you were somewhere before you moved to Plus FM? Mm. As a presenter, um, I started with Plus FM, but then as a radio pundit, I can say I have a number of radio stations that I was doing stuff with. But as a main presenter, I started my first radio business with Plus FM, but I had been on so many platforms as a, a, a reviewer or as a pundit. And that one, I'm still doing it though. So what started for you as a pundit? and? The next call that came in was a presenter. a presenter. And how did the call come in and how did you receive the call? Mm. Personally, I realized that most of our people were not taking serious um, or they were not paying attention to content on radio. And that was when I said, okay, I'm a news editor. I'm an entertainment newspaper editor. I've been editing entertainment stories. I've been talking to showbiz people for a longer time. So if really there is the time or the space for me to be on radio, why don't I do something show business? So it was not somebody calling me. I actually went and uh, I spoke to one programs manager at Plaza FM at the time who was um, Kwame Jokoto. So Kwame Jokoto agreed that, okay, this guy, he has some following as a showbiz person, so why don't we give him a trial? So I was given some two hours to do a Sunday show on Plaza FM, and out of that, it developed into a three-hour show, and later they said, okay, well, let's try something in the morning, and it worked, and that was what actually brought AM Plus Factor, which to me became a very big platform for show business in Ghana, and we are still going to do more. I think that what I have to do in Ghana's show business, I'm not done. As much as I still have the energy to move here and there, to still work, why not? I have to still do more. So if it is show business, they should even expect more because now we are the back bench of a sort. We are still learning to come back and even do more. <laughs> okay, with Sammy. And talk about you just working in as a pundit and with so you started with flex newspaper as yeah. an editor yeah. and now you're a radio presenter. What has been some of the challenges for you mm. in your kind of film? Okay, um, in terms of content, let me talk about content. In terms of content, one thing that I believe has been a challenge is how to get reliable people to speak to show business issues. Unlike political topics or political issues, you know that they really want to defend themselves because they are representing institutions, they are representing organizations. But then when it comes to show business, the people think they own themselves. Nobody tells them anything to do. Anytime they want to do anything, that is when they want to do. So if, for instance, Sarkodie is in the news for doing this or that and you want Sarkodie to speak to the issue, he decides to talk about it. If Shatawale is in the news and you want him to talk about it, he decides to talk about it. That to me has been the main challenge, how to get the main people who are in the entertainment business to speak to the issues. That is to me the problem with content production here in Ghana, in our entertainment industry. Some people mm -hmm. had to work mm -hmm. a mile some had to take a journey, some went days without food. Mm -hmm. What was your story to get to Sami Banflex right now? All right, so after some time as a radio pundit, I said to myself, um, you have been hopping from one radio station to the other during punditry, but you can do more because I felt that there are so many issues our people are not talking about. It is either they are not reading enough, it is either they are not researching enough, or they are just not interested. So why can't I take the challenge? As a matter of fact, when I walked to Plus FM, for them to give me the Sunday slot to start a radio show, I knew I was only going to do something. Uh, I didn't know I was going to do something very big because when you are not known as a radio presenter, a newspaper editor and a pundit. So the man said, okay, we will think about it and give you the time. I can tell you today that it took close to about a year or even more before finally 
they granted me the two hour slot on Sunday afternoon to do my radio show. You, you, you wanted two hours and it took you more than 360 <laughs> days to get a confirmation. I swear. <laughs> Every day to be go and come. You go there and Dr. Pounds. And uh, let me shout out uh, Dr. Can uh, Dr. Pounds in this one. Um, anytime I'll go to him, he'll tell me, Charlie, oh, you go happy, you go happy, no shake. But then Kwame Jokoto was nowhere to be found for the discussion proper. You go to Charlie, my boss hasn't come home. We cannot start to, let's wait. You, anytime you get a boss to, oh, we, we work on your thing, we work on your thing, give us some time, you work on your thing. At the point, I nearly <laughs> said to myself, Charlie, forget this thing and do your thing. But I kept pushing because I knew what I had in me. So, you didn't just give up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are a lot of people watching us right now, and mm -hmm. patience mm -hmm. is a difficult virtue for most of us, not just you or me but most of us watching out so what what kept you going mm -hmm. what what told you like okay i need to still go mm -hmm. what, what what was that drive one the fact that i was still in show business i knew i was not going to end up doing only newspaper that is if i want to do other things so i had that courage that even if it is not going to be plus fm there are other avenues that i could try and if god wills i will still get a platform to do it but then again if you get a chance and you are not prepared that is where your chance might not even be fruitful for you whilst i was waiting i was really preparing I, I was really preparing every day, making sure I still get new content for my newspaper. And that one alone kept me. So I want to say this to encourage that wanna be radio presenter. Yes, it wouldn't come easy because everybody wants to protect his or her turf. It is not easy for you to come and one big presenter, a list presenter will say, come and take my seat. No, it wouldn't come like that. But then as much as you want to do it, keep it. Uh, maybe your first attempt might not be where you stay. You just go and that place will be a platform to catapult you to the next journey. So keep pushing, be patient, learn, be respectful, and you can do it. So was that your secret code or was there's more to your secret code? We want to know your secret code that got to where you are right now. <laughs> So my secret code is just the fact that I wanted to do it. I was not ready to be uh, put down by just words from programs manager or some people, people who even maybe thought you were not good enough to be on radio. No, I was not ready to allow those words to put me down. No, I wanted to do it. And no matter what it takes, no matter how long it will take, I have to still do it. Even as I'm talking to you now, I'm still going through that same period again because somebody feels okay I still want to put you at a higher pedestal by giving some time if you are not careful you ignore because Charlie why should I be sitting there waiting for you but let's see God knows best <laughs> let's see how it will pan out I saw you driving a BM now so it means the job is really <laughs> paying right as a matter of fact if you are uh, say a sweeper if you sweep on the street and you do your work well one day, you sip, 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 sip. One man will leave his dollars, hiding it from maybe armed robbers or something in the dustbin. You pick it up. So, so no, no matter what, everything you are doing, do it well. I mean, that is what I would say. Um, some jobs might not come across as a well-paid job, but as much as you put your best in it, I can tell you that somebody is selling, say, um, bananas or plantain right plantain on the street that person has built a story building out of it somebody is in the corporate world he gets all the money he doesn't even have a, a chamber and hall on a land so it's about how you plan it's about how you also do your forecast how you do foresight in everything you are doing if you want to build a house you can if you want to buy a car now the car i want to drive i'm not sure i even have the money to buy it but i still would want to get it in the near future <laughs> okay so we wish you all the best in your endeavors do you have a problem with stone boy no not at all i don't have a problem with stone boy um what i know is that in this industry there are some people who whether by virtue of the game or design, you get closer to them more than others. But you call, you promoted most of his songs mm -hmm. when you got a BET nomination. Mm -hmm. And after that, we didn't hear anything again. Um, I can even say I was part of the few people who promoted Stoneboy when he was contesting for the Artist of the Year for the first time, the one that he won. I was part of it. So, so many people did not believe in the brand winning the Artist of the Year. But on radio, on so many platforms, I said, no, let's give it to the young guy. He's worked so hard, so let's give it to him. I, I believe Stoneboy's career is on the growth. I, I can say that the guy is really developing. Every song after song, you realize that this guy is growing. My only concern at the moment 
comment on stone boy is his departure from beat Dake. that i wish if he could work it out with him i would be very very happy but i see um egos at play here maybe stone boy will feel some way going back to Dake, or Dake will also feel some way going back to stone boy but then you know we don't destroy a winning team the collaboration between him and Dake worked and on so many platforms it was really working for him so i would wish as much as he's still on the rise i know he will not fail he will still do more but if he can patch up with Dake, they will do more or extra than what he's doing now let me put you on this mm -hmm. you choose just one mm -hmm. sakode floating stone mm -hmm. sakode samini shatawale shatawale stone boy against uh raskuku stone boy <laughs> efia beka um, if you have Becker, if you have Becker, if you have Becker, if you have Becker, let me do Becker. Adam Yapono. Hmm. Adam. Sakodi manifest. Sakodi. That is Sami Banflex, <laughs> choices of the best artists in Ghana for you. Join us same time next week with K Bona on the code. Thank you.